We might potentially have a release candidate tonight for Sources Alpha 3.24.2. Let's talk about it. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, CIG has posted a message of the day saying that tonight um, starts an alpha 3.24.2 um, PTU patch uh, is going to be for Evocati, but it's also a release candidate for wave one. So um, what I'm going to do in this video is if they indeed release it this weekend, I'm going to give you a list of features that you might want to check out as these are the newest updates uh, in this patch, at least the main ones anyways. So the very first one that uh, you might want to check out is new hairs and beard styles, as well as character creator DNA. So with the character creator DNAs, they have new heads uh, for you to also check out. Uh, that will help match the exact look that you're looking for. So uh, go check that out. New caves. So they have added acidic as well as uh, new rock caves. So now these new rock caves aren't going to replace the current rock caves, I believe. So I think these will be new ones that they're going to be adding. And I think over time, they'll go back and update the old ones to match with the new tech okay so go check that out if you are interested they've updated all the hall emissions to have zero reputation change on abandoned so we won't uh, in case the mission is broken or doesn't work when we abandon it we won't lose reputation so that is a good update because sometimes it just breaks and it's really annoying to lose reputation um, when it's not your fault so um vehicle hud and mfd rework they have the new starts and alpha 4.0 vehicle huds um, and MFDs, uh, that's also in prep for the engineering gameplay. So we're going to have some new looks for our vehicles. And um, to be quite honest, they look awesome. Um, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, you'll notice it right away as soon as you sit down in your ship. So now what they did mention was there's going to be a few manufacturers that will have their own brand. And then there's going to be some generic ones that will go into the other ships that... Um, until they have the manufacturers uh, done. So I believe from what I remember, um, Argo has one, Drake has one. Um, I think there was one more, I forget the name of it, but, um, and then there's a generic one that all the other ships will receive. So the next one is going to be ship updates. They're going to be making some updates to the boost speeds for ships, as well as ship attribute updates, as well as uh, weapon recharge rates, as well as shield generator. Um, balance passes has also been done so check those things out when you're flying your ship multi-tool uh, UI updates has also been done so I think they've updated some of the the um, UI elements um, uh, depending on which mode you're in so um, yeah check those out uh, if you uh, once you pull those out in the PU so now the big one is going to be the RSI Zeus CL and ES. These are new ships that a huge chunk of the community is excited for. So make sure to check it out. If you don't own one, ask somebody to check it out. It's an awesome looking vehicle. So I'm really excited to see it. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.